Hi everybody, and welcome to episode 10 of season 2 of Videos to God. I, with, with Thanksgiving um, just a few days away, I wanted to reiterate what I've reiterated before probably several times now. Which is the wants over the needs, or the needs over the wants, or as you put it, the stuff over um, need. Um, and what I'm going to be doing is calling what we want stuff. Um, so throughout this this episode. Um, I might be using those two words back and forth, but bear with me here. Um, I've been struggling, I'm going to use myself as an example today. Um, I've been struggling with things I want. Um, and they're not necessarily uh, items or their situations, their, their things I can control. Um, and let me just start off by saying I'm not a materialistic person, but we all have things we want or we want to control or we, we wish we can control, but we can't. Um, I, I've had to teach myself this lesson many, many times now. Um, with the help of several friends, uh, actually, over and over and over again. Um, but my point is, is that this lesson is a lesson that... Um, we struggle with it as human beings uh, in society. Uh, we have difficulty fighting uh, the stuff we want versus the stuff we need. For instance, um, I want a new iMac to do better HD quality videos. I want my iMovie to start to, to stop crashing so that I'm not leery about doing videos or that I'm that I'm dreading doing videos because it might crash while making it. Um, you know, I might want to um, help my brother more than I do or more than I can. Um, um, I might want to fix everybody's problems. I might want to get married someday um, and have kids. And all those are all those are true wants. Um, and yeah, I do want those things. But what I, what I realized today is, you know, I've been upset about uh, certain things. Um, I have a, fr a friend that I haven't talked to in a while. And um, I hope she's okay. To be honest, I don't know if she is. Um, and I'm struggling with that fact because she says she would always be there to talk to. But you see, on the other side of that, you know, 
she probably has a lot going on. Um, therefore, you know, doesn't have time to talk. You know, deleted Facebook. I, I, I don't know the reason, but uh, there is a good reason for it. Um, and then I have a friend who is also a musician on YouTube. I have several friends actually, but this episode is especially geared toward um, her. And, you know, I, I think she's struggling with you know, the, the the desire to further her education and, uh, and, uh, struggling with, with personal life at the same time. You know, she may want to, to fix everything and make it all hunky-dory and make it all fit right. But what I told her uh, the other day was that, and this goes for me too, um, but what I told her was, you need to give it up to God. You need to allow God to decide your every move. If not, your life isn't going to go the way you expect it to. For non-believers who stumble upon this video, um, you know, whether you believe me or not, it's up to you. And it's a tough lesson to learn. Um, the needs are, should outweigh the wants. Um, my need to get, to, to get a new chair, um, will happen next year, this coming year. Um, my need to better myself, my need to, um, get over some of the issues I may have or that I have um, you know we as human beings always want to have the control um, and it's not it's not um, fair um, in our eyes, but when we say it's not fair, um, it's Satan's talking. Life is fair if you look at it from a point of view of it's what God wants. Is it what God wants? I also told my friend that you know she needs to pray. Is this the path that God wants for her? You know, she's a dear friend of mine, and I wouldn't change that for the world. And, um, you know, and, uh, about the friend that I want to talk to, uh, if she stumbles upon this video, um, I hope that she understands that I I know her life gets busy. Um, I'm not trying to explain that, but what I'm trying to point out is what I'm trying to point out is my want to speak with her, my want to continue to talk to her isn't possible right now. 
if it was possible, God would make it so. And with the holidays coming around the corner, you know, Thanksgiving and Christmas, they're pretty much a month apart. Pretty much. And the thing is, we got a holiday of things and giving and a holiday of giving. And do we celebrate it in the true form of those two holidays? Do we celebrate it being thankful for what we have? Not what we may need, not what we may want, but pray to God and, and you know, say, I'm thankful for what I have, but God, this is what I need. Can you please help me? And Christmas is, is about spending time with your family. It's truly not about what gadget I maybe get for Christmas. You know, for me, yeah, it's good to get gifts and, and presents and, and gift cards to iTunes. Um, it's good for those things. I like those things. My dad's helped me get something for Christmas that I wanted for a while. You know, but in retrospect, you know, it's, yeah, I'm finally getting it, but, you know, it only happened kind of when the need arrived, because my, my sling boxes, mm -hmm. excuse me, going bad, but, you know, it, it's just, it's a matter of perception. You know, you may want something for Christmas that you've been wanting for a long time. And truth is, you may get it and you may not. You know, the money, money is the root of all evil, as they always say. You know, you may want money for Christmas so you can buy your own stuff. But that's what it is, stuff. And I don't want YouTube to reject this video, so I'm going to try to make it over, under the 15 minute mark. Um, but just think about this. Do you have at least a roof over your head? Do you have food to provide? Do you, do you, is food provided for you? Um, you know, do you have all the things you need? And like my friend said today, be thankful for the things you have, in a sense. I was in a rough mood this morning. And because I haven't been able to talk to my friend. But the truth is, there may be a good reason for that. You know, and I, and I can't get angry over that. I've often thought of things like that, and I get out of control sometimes, but it's not 
you know, it's not, um, right to do that. So in closing, um, you know, this Thanksgiving and this Christmas, be thankful for what you have. Like I said before. And if you be thankful for what you have, I'll do my best to do the same. If there's something you need, ask God for it. If there's, there's, if there's a want that you, that you desperately, desperately need, you know, pray about it, you know, um, I need to learn those things. And I learn them every day. We all do. And I just hope you've enjoyed this episode. Um, I hope it helps. And to watch the others, go to my playlist on my YouTube. Um, and um, as a side note, check out um, Holly Stewart music uh, on YouTube. Um, that's her YouTube name. Um... You know, she just did two songs. One was about bullying and one was very close to her heart. Um, of course, I think all her songs are. But just listen and um, I hope you guys have a good day. Talk to you later. Bye.